Hmm, what's up guys? Server is still down. Uh, I hope it opens up soon. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna wait a bit, I guess. <laughs> okay. I already looked at the data mine. Uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know if I want if I should even show it on stream. I'm looking at like I looked at the Chinese data mine a couple hours ago. All right, let me check Azure and Twitter. Hold up. <laughs> Maybe there is a new announcement on the Twitter. Still down. Uh, nothing on the Twitter. So I have no idea. Guess I'll quickly go over the um, Repulse meta. The Repulse meta actually seems really good. Like she has really high damage against light armor enemies. I'm not sure if she beats FDG though, but could be. Now, I will have to see her barrage and see how it works. But yeah, she seems pretty good. Mm, repulse meta seems to be pretty much for boss only. I mean, she's okay for mobs. I don't know how her barrage works. I will have to see. But she seems more for a boss fleet instead of um. Instead of for mob fleet, though I she does have like a defensive barrage. But it's, it's hard to say. <laughs> now repulse meta is super rare, so she she's the new meta, the the new meta boss for Operation Siren. So I mean she she seems to to be basically the best meta ship we have at the moment. Well, maybe not Helena. Helena meta is also pretty good, but repulse meta seems to be. Very, very good. Also, um, the new... What's it called? I think it's called Augment Modules. Let me check. Yeah, it's called Augment Modules. Why don't they just call it weapons? They're basically weapons. And <laughs> yeah, the new weapon system um, seems to be really, really powerful, actually. Yeah, I heard it's really hard to get the uh, the modules, the weapons. Especially, I think the signature weapons are really hard to get. But the signature weapons are basically like a retrofit for the uh, for the for those ships. I mean, Laffy is no longer decent. Laffy is like just above average at this point. Like, I think destroyers have like the most amount of power creeps. 
Well, maybe maybe battleships, but destroyers also have like a huge amount of power creep. Like, we literally have the missile destroyers who does like a thousand DPS, and you know, back in the old days, Laffy with like 500 DPS was considered top tier. And now we have like a thousand DPS destroyers. So yeah, just so you know. <laughs> Uh, Destro Destroyer is kind of kind of crazy in terms of uh, their damage output. It seems like the modules are really really broken. Well, not really that broken, but they give you a pretty good amount of stats, and they also give you like a like I don't know how the slash like really works in battle, but just on the num just. Purely based on numbers, the slashers, like the slashes, are actually really good. Like they do quite a bit of damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna update. I I was waiting for this update to do like an updated guide because I I I was thinking like the modules are gonna change up the meta by quite a bit. And it seems like I was correct. The, the modules are really, really impactful. So I'm gonna do like an updated guide for pretty much everything in the upcoming month. Hopefully. What the fuck is this? Why is there no... There's like not even a new announcement. Yeah, I, there's like nothing posted on Twitter. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, tomorrow we are gonna have the reverse 1999. Actually, maybe it's 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 maybe tonight. I think it's tonight. So the second closed beta for Reverse 1999 starts tonight. I'm gonna be playing a shit ton of it. But um, I, the, the problem is my account for Reverse 1999 is like bugged. Like I, I, I couldn't download the, the client even though I had the beta access for, from last time. I just don't know why. I was like contacting their staff and they haven't responded me yet, so I don't know. I guess I'll wait until the, their staff wakes up in China. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, Reverse 1999 is really, really hyped. Like, I'm super excited for it. <laughs> Suggest best fleet with Aegir. Aegir works with pretty much every fleet. Like, any fleet you put her in, it's pretty much just good. Uh, Aegir Bay, I think she's best with the battleship fleet at the moment, since she has guaranteed armor break. What song is playing? It's uh, from Blue Archive. This is the, uh, the battle music for one of the bosses in Blue Archive. Having two Vanguard good? I don't think so. I mean, you can use two of the same ships in Operation Siren. And I can't really think of any reason to use two Vanguards. Yeah, I, I do have two Vanguards, but I don't think having two Vanguards matter. I ever think of playing Honkai again? Uh, probably no. <laughs> Most likely, no. I'm not gonna play Honkai anymore. Well, I'm, I'm kinda done with miHoYo games in general. I don't really wanna play their game anymore. <laughs> yeah, 2 UVH makes World 14 easy. Eh. I mean, Chapter 14 is kind of a joke now. With, uh, with the new module update. Like, I feel like it's gonna be so much easier. Like, you're getting so much more power from the modules.
I mean, if you want to keep an extra copy of the every ultra rare, that's fine. I don't think there's any reason to. Like, unless the unless like an ultra rare has like an insane cross fleet effect. I, I don't think there's any reason to keep two copies. Like, you can't use multiple of the same ships in Operation Siren. So I, I like, at the, at, at the end of the day, I think it's fine. Having one copy of Ultra Rare is good enough. Another download is up? Okay, hold up. Alright, hold up. I mean, having one Ulrich is enough for fast clear event. Do I still play Arknights? The answer is no. Game server not open? Okay. I think this means it's, it's ready. They, they just need to start up the server. It says it's green, it should be online. Azura Valkin? I don't know about that. <laughs> like I don't I don't hype up for any game until I see like any gameplay footage. It's up? Restart the game? Really? Okay, you guys better not be lying. Oh, okay, the Twitter says maintenance has ended. But... Game server not open, hello? Man, Twitter is lying. They actually lied on the tweet. They actually debated by the official tweet. By the official Twitter. Oh, not like this. Maybe the server is overloaded. I don't think that's. <laughs> I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Heck, Facebook. Who still uses Facebook? A lot of people? Okay, well, I haven't used Facebook in like, probably 10 years, honestly. And when's the last time I used Facebook? 
I think it was in high school. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot of C people still use this Facebook. Yeah, that's true actually. Yeah, that, that's actually true. I guess some, in some parts of the world, Facebook is still popular. I don't know though. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking at the tweet. So the tweet says, maintenance has ended, all servers are up and running. Wait, are we in? Oh, we're in. Oh, finally. Yeah, so there's a random stats on, on the weapons. I'm just gonna call them weapons, fuck it. Dual swords. Oh, 20 augment module core. I think you can also get these in the uh, in the battle pass or like the cruise pass. Okay, let's check the old skin first. New artifact bombing? I don't know. I, I I don't think the random stats is that big of a deal. Okay. Um. Well, let's just go check the old skin first. All right. New Jersey. Oh my god, that is very long. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, you can't see the. Wait, what? What is it? What is this line for? Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Hmm. What is? What is? I wonder what is this line for? Interesting, okay. ハニーのことに決まってるじゃない。ハニーが私に見とれちゃうのに、私がハニーに見とれちゃいけないってわけ。このハニーが私に見とれちゃうのに、私がハニーに見とれちゃいけないってわけ。この格好だから今日に限って
どうしたのハニーあもしかしてよしよししてほしくなった Alright, special touch. She get away. Go, you know, skin and the show. Okay. Honey, Sigini Conasmonova. Nimu can do. Oh, you know, get away at a shiny macassette. Honey, why, yes, Sunday, yes. Toba de wa, you can I. Yeah, this expression reminds me a lot of uh, Mika from Blue Archive with the uh, recent main story update. <laughs> Can I try new weekly mission? I'll check on them later. I'm checking the skins first. ハニーは私がいつもと違う感じになってハニーを惚れ直させちゃうんだからね。委託組が戻ってきたわよ。ハニーも一緒に出迎える。ハニー、見ていてね。ハニーはこんなことでは逃げないわよ。勝利のための
あげる私とリードされちゃう私をリードしても私にリード Oh, we have. Wait. We get two for free? Oh no, this is crafting, okay. Alright. Wait, did somebody tell me to check the new weekly mission? There's like no new weekly mission, right? I mean, I didn't really read the patch notes all that much. Yeah, there's like no new missions. There is? Where? Where are they? <laughs> Oh, you mean, oh, oh, you mean this one. Okay, yeah, I, I know about this one. I know about this one. I thought they mean, I thought like he means this. Okay, whatever. All right, let, let's try this first, I guess. It's fine. Man, this ra th this drop reminds me a lot of um, Genshin Artifact. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> There's a couple gold drops and the purple drops. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, my main fleet deals significantly reduced damage. Uh Okay. Right, I guess this I guess I'm Damn it. Oh my god, did this hold up. I really should remove this moon. Oh my god, I can't even click the auto. Those moons above their heads, those are uh, cosmetics. They are cosmetic skins from the premium cruise pass. I pretty much only buy the pass for the uh, for the cosmetics. <laughs> I don't really care about the others, the other rewards. Okay, maybe this is a bit. This this we might be a bit overkill for this. Okay, what did we get? We got two gold module cores, one module stone tier three. Augment module conversion stone used to reroll. Oh, you can reroll the attribute. Okay, so it's way better than Genshin then. All right, we we can reroll the stats. Thank God. Though so we only got one. I don't know how much it takes to reroll. This one's also for rerolling. Hmm. What are these used for? Resource used to craft, upgrade, and convert. Okay. And so these are just crafting materials then. Alright, there's no reason to do the low level one, right? Alright, there isn't. Okay, well. Guess we can just repeat now. Oh, we got a bow gun. It's a drop. All right, this one's used for battle cruiser, battleship. The weapon this ship's first gear slot deals five percent more. So basically, five percent more main gun damage for to heavy enemies, but five percent less to light. This is super good, by the way. 
Alright, hold on. Let me pull up the the list. The battleship can either use a sword or a bow gun. I think the bow gun is really good. Okay, let me go do the mission first, I guess. Oh, we're we just get them for free. Okay. They're giving us a lot of reroll stones, which is um. Makes me wonder how much it takes to reroll the stats. I think we also they also gave us a complete set of tier twos. Okay, so we get a complete set of tier twos by completing the mission. I guess I'll all right, I'll complete like all the missions first, I guess. They're pretty easy. Operation Siren. A mission. Exercise. Or right, let's do one exercise. Uh, so basically, right now you can... Like, for the most part, you should use the purple weapons on, on most ships. And the gold weapons are like ship exclusive weapons, like unique weapons. I heard that it takes quite a while to craft the uh, the unique weapons. And the, the purple gears are perfectly fine. They're, they're already very powerful. Like the purple weapons, the purple modules are already really really good. Yeah, and the and the gold ones are only for like specific ships anyways. I think we only have five of the gold gears at the moment. So we have one for Laffy, one for Belfast, one for Eugene, one for Arizona, and one for I-58. Like the gold modules are essentially like mini retrofits. Let's all do some battle in Operation Siren first. Any level 4 zones? I want to do like a level 5 zone, it's gonna take a while. Alright, whatever. We'll do a level 5 zone. Where did I find the list? Uh, I'm looking at a Chinese data mine. I think there's one for English too, but I usually look at the ones in, in Chinese. Okay. I think in order to actually get the slash, you have to enhance the, the module to plus 10. Like that's what I'm get. That's what I'm getting here. I'll try it out after. Like only the vanguards have slash, that's the thing. So I think I have to upgrade a van the vanguard weapon first. Like, I think I'm just gonna get like a dual sword and then uh, put them on my destroyers first. Uh, that's what I'm most curious about. The 5k oil is a waste? Uh, it's not really, I mean... It depends. Uh, usually when I'm too busy to do the farming, I'll buy the 5k. Uh, but if I'm not busy, I will do it manually. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll come back to this later. Uh, we all have to do the new meta fight. Uh, if I have to do- oh fuck, I have to go get the, the data coordinates. I guess I'll finish this run first. Like I'm surprised that they that the weapon for Arizona is actually not that good like compared to the rest. I guess for those of you who don't know the the unique weapons, the Arizona weapon gives plus 25 firepower and plus 10 reload. And uh, when I max, it reduces main gun low time by 10%, but also reduces the damage by 15. So it's actually not very good. <laughs> but I think it buffed her. It buffed her healing, so I guess she's more like a dedicated healer. <laughs> kind of weird though. Like Arizona already deals very little damage, and that's like even worse now with the uh, with the weapon. <laughs> like I, I I think they should it should be plus fifteen, not minus fifteen. Okay, like Arizona is not a very powerful ship. Let's get that right. Like basically nobody uses Arizona. Like why the fuck do they need to give it minus fifteen percent damage? It should really be plus 15 and she still wouldn't be used. <laughs> like, come on. No, it's actually just minus 15% damage. Main gun damage for Arizona. I, I checked it multiple times just to make sure I was I was reading it right. And it is. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't know why. It just stand it just stands out to be so bad, I don't know why. I guess she gets a really strong healing healing skill, but I don't know man. Maybe it's designed for the meta version. Oh that's an interesting thought actually. No, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if Arizona meta can use the the weapon for the normal Arizona, but I, I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a review about this. Uh probably in in three days. I don't know how fast I can craft them. Like I, I need to test out like how good are the the module's damage output, because I know they're that, like if if we take out the the slash portion, the modules are essentially just extra stats. So I mean I don't think I need to review plus twenty firepower on a destroyer, right? Like that that's kind of pointless. But um, the the slashes actually do quite a bit of damage, and I don't I don't, I don't know how they actually scale. I think they scale with level only. And not the ship stats. I I need to really test them now to see how they actually perform in battle. I don't know how they change PvP. I don't even play PvP. <laughs> That's the thing. I really don't care about PvP in Azure Lane at all. Like unless they give me a reason to play PvP, I'm not gonna play it. It's just a hassle. So yeah, I don't I'm not gonna review PvP. There are other YouTubers on the platform that does PvP stuff. But yeah, I, I don't I don't really do PvP. Okay. 
You know, I, I think it, it was like two years ago, I suggested to the dev team to like allow us to make lobbies so we can like do PvPs with the people we know. Like we, we can like arrange lobbies for PvPs and stuff and that'd be more interesting. And guess what? Uh, that suggestion is not taken. We still have this um, shitty PvP system from like five years ago. Like honestly, like I, I think it would be so cool if they allowed us to host lobbies and play with our friends in PvP. And maybe we can like even host like a zero lane PvP tournament. If we if we are allowed to host lobbies and stuff. Like I think that'd be really cool for the community, but I mean, the devs are busy with the other game, so... It's unfortunate. What are the augments for BBs? So, Battleships gets two special augments. One is the... the sword. So it gives 15 to, 15 to 20 accuracy and 17 to 20 evasion. Which is, which is actually pretty big. The evasion is really helpful for, um, for chapter 14. So the sword, uh, the sword makes you do 20, uh, well it, it basically gives you 20 firepower for the first salvo. And the same skill doesn't stack, so yeah. And the bow gun is 5% more damage to light armor, but 5% less damage to heavy armor. Oh wait, no, I, I, said, it, I said it wrong, it's, it's the opposite. 5% more damage to heavy. 5% less damage to light. I think with the with the bow gun, like the the battleship fleet might actually surpass carrier when it comes to um when it comes to fighting heavy armor. Maybe not. I mean the carrier fleet is pretty strong, but the carrier the carrier fleet has a lot of um limitations. It's, it's hard to say. Alright. Where is the mission? One hard mode. Also, I need to test if the, the blue gear also stacks with the purple gear. Like maybe they stack and it is worth it to use different tiers of gear in the same fleet for the extra buff. Hard to say. Yeah, I know the blue gear can upgrade to purple. I know the upgrade. I'm thinking about like, cause the they have like passive buffs, right? Like if they actually stack. Oh, they probably don't stack. I I doubt it, but maybe. You can never be sure with Azure Lane, that's the thing, because like the devs don't even know what they're doing for, for the most part. You can unequip the weapon once they're equipped. They're basically just another piece of gear, like nothing more.
Okay, we have two more. Oh, okay. These two are easy. Guess I'll just do the the guild boss at the same time. Did I pull for Asuko? I did. But I'm gonna skip her for the most part, I think. Like, I, I did like 20 pulls and I didn't get her, so I'm skipping. Yeah, I think Eugene actually get like a huge buff from the new module. What are those aug augments doing overall to our ships? They basically give you bonus stats. And they also have like a... Some of them have like a unique passive effect. Some of them makes you do like a slash. The slash can do damage and also like cleave out enemy projectiles. So you can, you can look at it as basically more damage and sometimes more survivability. Not always, but sometimes. Eugene's still trash? I don't think so. I think she's like a top tier tank. But the problem with Eugene and like just tanks in general is that right now we, ha we have Aegir and uh, Eld well not Eldridge. Eldridge is also kind of and there is also Anchorage. Like these three have more utility than just being a tank. Oh, I think I'm using the wrong gun. Why am I doing so little damage? Where do I get the shell skin for New Jersey? That is also from the battle pass, I think. I think I'm using the wrong gun. Whatever, we still killed it. I think the last one is refilling dorm. I think we got all the missions. Alright, we got everything. Nice. Alright, time to test things out. Ooh, finally, let's go. I need... So first I need a backline that does nothing. So it's easier to see. What's a backline that does nothing? Alright, South Dakota. Alright, first let's check out the uh... The hammer. So the hammer is for torpedo. Oh, in order to... Oh, we have to enhance it too, I guess. How do I enhance it? Oh, here it is. Convert. Oh, so... It only takes one to reroll? Seriously? Okay. Yeah. What does it take to craft one of these? It... Wow, it only costs four? Wait, what? <laughs> it only costs 4 to craft one? That is... Wait, what? What the fuck is this? Hold up, hold up. <laughs> like, what does this do? Upgrade EXP required to craft. Wait, oh, we need EXP. No, wait, we don't. What? Right, I'm, I'm very confused. Okay, so throwing out other modules also increases EXP. 
Yeah, this just enhances the gear, okay. That is kind of weird, okay, whatever. Is there a way to check, like... I don't know, is it in Gear Labs? It's not. Okay, there it is. Convert. So convert is just re-rolling the, the random stats. I see, okay. It only takes one purple shard to re-roll the stats though. That is very, very cheap. At 54. Wait, this one already has the max stats. So max is 5, max is 3. Okay, so this one already have max stats. I don't need to reroll. I guess I'll enhance this one first. Also, this is basically like upgrading gear in Blue Archive then. Interesting. Okay, so at plus 10 it unlocks the module effect, which is the passive skill for the weapon. What if I upgrade the blue one? I heard you can upgrade the blue one to purple. The reroll doesn't reroll, it just increases the sub stats by one. Oh, is that how it works? Then you can just get max stats on everything then. What's the point of random stats? <laughs> what? Need to bring blue to level 10. Alright, let, let's let's do it. Okay, so... Oh, so upgrading also costs less material. So crafting one costs like 4, right? Upgrading only costs 2. Interesting. Oh fuck, I need to... I need to keep one, so I, I wanna do the test. Alright, fuck it. Let, let's, let's do this. Alright, so now we have the purple kunai. Alright, which one do I want to test? I think the sword? Okay, so here's everything. I think I want to craft the sword. No, we can also craft the gold one then. Interesting. Oh, we can craft them like right off the bat actually. Oh, but these are like kind of hard to get though. Yeah, actually it's, it's a good system, but I don't know why they even make it random then. <laughs> if you can just upgrade everything to max. Right, which one do we even get? Do we get the carrot for Laffy or... I think this one is for I-58. Now which one do I get? Well, the, the one for Laffy isn't that interesting. It just gives her like some heal and some stats buff.
Oh, but I, wait, hold up. What level is my Eugene? She's level 120. I guess I'll try her out then. I mean, she 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 gets. It's actually pretty good. So with the module upgrade, the shield now blocks 12 bullets instead of 10. And uh, whenever the shield triggers, it increases her firepower by 20%. Alright, oh, yeah, that's actually kind of lame. <laughs> Okay, maybe I die. Uh, Alright, maybe I'll, I won't buy this one. They're all kind of average, actually. <laughs> the fuck, I'll buy this one. I mean, it's. Uh, Alright, I'll, 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 I'll get this one. It's fine. It costs 15 to craft one though. Alright, wait. Alright, be before I craft one, I, I really need to see how much it takes to upgrade. Oh my god. Holy shit, it takes this much EXP to get a gold gear to plus 10. Okay, maybe I, I'm maybe I'm not crafting this one. I don't know. <laughs> that is very expensive. I don't know how easy it is to get these. Yeah, so these gives ten. Yeah, the cost is really high. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll craft the purple one for today. I don't know, cause I'm not gonna have enough enhanced materials. And if you don't get the enhanced materials, if you don't get them to plus ten, you don't actually get the the passive upgrade. Like the passive skill doesn't work. No, the no the map is weekly. I think you only get two per week. Like I'm pretty sure this one is yeah it's twice per week. So it's like really it's really hard to get. Like the these like these upgrade stones are really really hard to get. Yeah, you know what? Let me check. I think there there's some in Operation Siren shops as well. And we we really have to figure this shit out because if it's really hard to get, I don't know what Wait, there isn't anything here? What? Maybe it's like in the port shop? I don't know. Like I remember reading in the patch note that you can get like the uh, the module materials and stuff. But like in Operation Siren. But there isn't anything here though. Huh. Arbiter boss in the middle. Oh yeah, that's true actually. Maybe it maybe this drops. But I can't get there yet. Right, let's check the, the other shops. No, there's nothing in the metal shop also. How do I how do we get the upgrade stone then? They're like super rare or what? Oh, 
Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they're like maybe maybe after the reset. I don't know though. It's kind of risky to craft it then. The thing is, none of these gold modules make the ships like top tier at the moment. So, so like unless you really like the ship, like unless you really like to use Eugene or Belfast or Laffy or Arizona. Like there's no reason to craft these, right? I think I'll wait. Yeah, I'll wait, I think. Alright, fuck it. Let's do the testing first. Uh hold up. What do we have right now? I wanna test this first. So we have a blue sword. Oh. Alright, let's upgrade the blue sword to plus 10 first. Yeah, like compared to like like compared to the the gold the gold weapon, it, it costs like nothing to upgrade. Like the blue and purple weapon costs like nothing to upgrade in comparison. <laughs> Alright, we have a plus ten blue sword. Now we need to craft a plus ten gold sword. Or purple sword. No, what? You can't craft a plus zero one? Okay, we have two swords now. Alright, let's see if they stack. Uh, swords are for light cruisers, right? Yes, they are. Okay. Alright, now let's see what does this do. Where do I go test this? I guess A-1 is fine. I'll, I'll, I'll go to A-4. I sound tired? Uh, I'm kind of sleepy actually. I'm not a morning person. It's actually noon, but yeah, I woke up pretty early today. So yeah, I'm, I'm a bit tired, that's true. Okay, come on, where's the slash? Hello? Oh, there we go. It did like, what, 245? Okay, it did 245. Did it also clean out the projectile? I couldn't see. It's kind of hard to see. So triggering time random? Yeah, I can't hit multiple targets, so yeah. Alright, let's try again. Yeah, seems like it's every, fi every 15 seconds, yeah. But 
But it, it, it has like a starting cooldown. So yeah, that triggered at, at like 242. So it's like 20 seconds cooldown, even. Yeah, it seems like so. I think it uses the same logic as Eldritch skill then. So, from what I'm observing, the misses doesn't actually trigger the the slash. Like the ship has to actually take damage to trigger the slash. Like I don't see like I don't see triggers from misses. Like it's kind of hard to see. Maybe like I have to like go rewatch the stream and slow it down. It seems like the the slash only goes off when you like actually take damage. Misses doesn't seem to count. Like right now the slash is off cooldown, right? Oh no, wait, what? That triggered, and I think that was a miss. That is very strange. I don't know. Did it? I think that triggered also. That that was also another slash on the miss. Huh, how does how exactly does this work? And we, I, I really have to like record this and see this in, in slow mo. It's really hard to see. Hmm. I don't I, I don't understand. Alright, whatever. I'll I'll record it later and and slow mo it to see. All right now let's test the real thing I want to test. Does the slash stack with the lower grade weapon? Why is it locked? Oh, does does the blue one not have the? Oh, does it not have the skill then? Why does it even say locked if the blue one doesn't even have the skill? That's such a bait. Yeah, it seems that like you need you need the gear to be at least purple tier to unlock the passive. But it still says here. I, I thought you can unlock the passive with the blue gear. Okay, so we don't need to test that, but that's that's a that's a huge debate actually. That is so dumb. Okay, well at least we don't need to test that. Alright, let's let's see. So the slash did 245, right? Let me pull up the data mine numbers. So based on the data mine numbers, the damage should be 5 plus average level times 2. So my average level is 120, so that's 240, 245. Okay, so the slash damage is not affected by level advantage it seems. Also does not get affected by firepower. Yeah, so 245 exactly. Also, that makes it very easy to calculate then, because it, it doesn't get affected by, like, literally anything. Alright, let, let, let's try Vanguard. Does it get affected by that? 
So Vanguard has 10% damage buff. 10% damage taken. Now does this one work? Let's see. Yeah, I know it gets affected by the amount of slash weapons. I know that. But it doesn't get affected by the level advantage. It doesn't even get affected by the uh, the safety levels. Uh, is it still 245? Let's see. Oh my god, Vanguard just killed them all. Alright, it's still 245. I saw it, it's still 245. Alright, come on, where's the slash? Still 245, okay. So the damage of the slash does not get affected by literally anything. Alright, does it work on on siren killers, I wonder. Uh how do I do this one? Right, who do I have in my Alright, so the, the, there's there's like the the last the, this is the last thing I'm gonna test on the damage I think. So the siren killer, this damage bonus is like a special multiplier. I wonder if if, if the slash damage works on this. Alright, which one of the thing gives? It's the great sword. The great sword. Guess I'll just upgrade from this then. Alright, so this one should do 12 plus average level times 6. So this one should do 762 damage. Oh man, I have to. Oh my god. Okay, uh, how do I do this? Gonna kill the enemies too fast, I think. Fuck, I have to like unequip all the guns. Alright, let's unequip the guns. I hope the barrage from backline doesn't kill the enemies too fast, so I can test this out. <laughs> oh god, alright. Art Arbiter? Oh, I can test it on Arbiter too. I guess I can test it on like an Abyssal boss, yeah. Actually, this one isn't that, like... There's like some Siren Elites in this one, right? Oh no, fuck. Oh no, I entered this, I can't quit out, I think. Can I? Yeah, I know that this one is close. Fuck, can I quit out on this? Oh no, I can't quit out. 
Not like this. Alright, we have to complete this zone then. Alright, maybe there are some siren enemies like right at the start. Right, let's turn off auto and hopefully it's fine. Alright, this one. Don't die, please. Come on, slash. Uh, there's like too much shit to see. It's hard to see. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was it, but there's too many numbers. Alright, hold up. Let me rewind my stream. Hold up, hold up. Oh god, there's too many numbers. I'm watching my own stream now to see the da the damage numbers. Man, this slash is really hard to hit, I have to say. At this one, you actually have to like be right next to the enemy to even hit it. All right. It's seven six two. All right, so it does exactly seven six two. Okay, okay. So, so I think we're done with the damage testing. This thing does not get affected by literally anything in the game. So damage taken doesn't work. Special buff also doesn't work, like the Siren Killer also doesn't work. Nothing works on this. It just does a fixed amount of damage no matter what. Like it, it only does damage based on levels then. Okay. Alright. Now up to the next test. The next one. Uh, how do I do this? Oh, you know what? Like the the close quarter slash might be very good in chapter fourteen mobs. That's actually kind of a thing. Okay, you know what? Let, let, let's let's test this one. Yeah, the slash damage doesn't get affected by armor type either. It just does a fixed amount no matter what. Let's see how well this does then. Let's put a free destroyers then. Uh. Alright, you dachi, why, why not? So I need to get the... Dual Sword. I have to craft three dual swords. <laughs> I'll do it for science. Why? Why does this cost more now? What? Okay, triple dual swords. Let's go.
Okay, let's see how this does in chapter 14. Why not hammers? Because I want to test out the uh, close quarter slash. The hammer does like the slash wave, which is long range. That one's guaranteed to hit, so no need to test that one. Alright, let's see how well this does. Can you evade the slash? I don't think so. Alright, let's see how often does the slash hit. Right, so far the slash has hit zero times, I think. <laughs> Test the slash in PvP. Oh, that was a huge slash actually. The level 3 slash has pretty big range. But I still didn't hit though, that's the thing. Oh, it hit once! There it is! It hit the uh, Yamashiro there. Or Fuso, whatever that is. We got one hit. In a full minute fight. One hit. Right, are we gonna get another hit with the slash? I think that was a hit. It did like 1700 damage, I think. Alright, we got another hit. Alright, that was a miss. I don't think it hits subs. I don't think so. Okay, it definitely does not hit the subs. <laughs> okay. It seems like the, the area slash is uh, not very reliable when it comes to uh, <laughs> when it comes to damage. Yeah, this is 14-4. So the hammer battle or not really? I mean that the the stats for this is still better. The hammer is like for torpedo ships and this one gives firepower. I think we got a full hit with the slash. Oh, it hit two enemies though. Yeah, I think we, we hit a pretty good slash there. And it, it cut in for the carrier, so we didn't really see it. But I think that was a double hit. Okay, that was a miss. Yeah, firepower stats is way better on destroyers. Why is only Unicorn taking damage though? I think based on what we what we see. Uh, the slash really doesn't provide that much bonus damage. It does like a, around 2k damage. Like it's 1700 something. 
So it does 30 plus a plus average. Alright, the slash also slows the target by 20%. But it's really hard to get to hit it, so I don't think the, the slow is is gonna matter. Right, it's really it, it, it really doesn't matter all that much, the slash. It's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, the slash will not hit an enemy for the most part. It sometimes clears out the bullet, so it like it's like a shield that's not reliable. It's like an unreliable shield. It also slows, but yeah. I mean, even though manual, like, uh, assuming you get 100% hits on the slash, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It really seems like it doesn't have that much impact, to be honest. Like, the thing is, the slash really doesn't do that much damage. It does, like, a thousand something. Which is not terrible, but it's not that impactful. So the slash at max level, like, if you equip it on three level 125 ships, it does exactly 1780 damage. And this damage is not buffable. It does not get affected by anything. So it's less than 2k damage every 20 seconds or so. Uh, you cannot proc it off cooldown reliably. And it doesn't hit most of the time. Like the slash wave, like the, the long range slash is actually better, but it's still only like 1600 damage every 20 seconds or so. It's not that good. You can't equip 5. <laughs> it only goes up to 3 though. So I, I think the slash is actually not that big of a... Not that big of a deal. It ends up being really underwhelming, I have to say. Like if, if we look at my my Vanguard, right? Destroyers still are dying with triple destroyers. Granted, I'm only running one healer, but yeah, uh, one of my Vanguard just died. It's, it's like, the, the slash really didn't prevent that much damage, it's like a shield that occasionally block a bullet or two, essentially. Like, the trigger cooldown is quite long, and uh, the triggering seems to be pretty random. Like, I really have to do more in-depth testing to see if the slash can trigger on misses or not. Like, if it only triggers when the vanguard actually takes a hit, like, I guess it is pretty easy to trigger if you have, like, all three of them. But yeah, it, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Yeah, the damage really is not a purpose. That is correct. That is absolutely true. Like, I thought it's gonna make vanguards do a lot more damage, but apparently not. I mean, the stats buff are nice, but the slashes themselves are kind of... Underwhelming, actually. <laughs> Alright, that's a good point. Let, let's change the missile destroyers to, to backline mode. And see if, if we can do like a level 5 slash. I don't think they can even equip it, but let's see. Maybe it works. I have no idea. Okay, um, let's see. So they, they, they can still keep their swords up. Let's see. Okay, 
Okay, they, you can still use them. Interesting. That is kind of interesting. That, that, that's, let's try it out. Oh man, that means I have to craft another sword. Ugh, whatever. I'll do it for science. Ah, oh, ay ay ay. Alright, um, how do I test this? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Alright, uh, maybe like this. Uh, where is she? Another DD. Let's put up Shimakaze. Right, we have four double swords equipped. Does it go up to level four? Let's see. Alright, let's see if the damage is still 1780. Alright, well I'll turn off auto just so we hit a bit easier. Uh, you guys better watch out for it. Alright, that, that did it. How much damage did it did it do? It, it, it goes by so fast, it's really hard to see. It still did 1780, it did not go up. I, 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 I'm looking at it frame by frame, it still did 1780, it did not go up at all. Okay, that absolutely does not work. I crafted four swords for nothing then. Yeah, it still did 1780, so it only goes up to level 3, the slash. You cannot equip more than 3, it doesn't work. Okay, what else do I want to test? Pretty much nothing then. Like, the, the effects are actually pretty mild. Oh man. I think this one actually buffs like the submarine the most. Like the submarine weapon, the dagger, gives 10% critical rate for torpedoes. That is fucking crazy. Seems I don't need to test anything else. They're just like, okay. They're basically extra stats, essentially. There's like, no real thing I need to test. Right, let's check out these stats. The stats reroll. This one's already maxed out. Uh... Right, what about this one? So this one's 4 and 3. Wait, it just... Okay, that's it. <laughs> what happens if I do it at max? Oh, 
or the Max can can do it anymore. Well, there is actually no point to the random stats. You can have everything maxed out anyways. <laughs> There's actually no point for the for the random stats it seems. And that is so weird that they decide to add like a random portion to the thing. Right, this sword is really awful, so let's uh, max it out. Oh, it doesn't go up by one, it just went up to three. Yeah, now I have the sword maxed. <laughs> okay. I guess like all, all of these are pretty mild. Maybe I'll craft the gold gear then. Should I craft a gold one? I do have enough. I have enough to equip my entire team I think so I don't... Should I craft one for Laffy or should I craft one for... Hmm... Like maybe the, the random stats on the gold gear are much more significant. Actually never mind, it's, it's only 10 and 5. Oh god, it takes 150 man. That is so expensive. You know what, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna craft one for Laffy. I, I kinda like Laffy anyways, so uh, let, let, let's do one for her. Alright. Been a while since I used her. I also have the best skin for her. Yeah, the, the heal for, for this skill is actually really good. Yeah, okay, you can also see the skill upgrade here. So this basically gives her like a like a heal at the, at the start of the battle. And there's also some extra stats. Like at max level, this is a 10% heal for every in every fight. So that is really really good. Oh yeah, let's see these stats. Oh, this is what? It's, it still only costs one. Man, this is essentially free then, what the fuck? Alright, the carrot is maxed. Great. We only use two. And it, it is maxed already. And I still have 30 of them. There's no way you can use all of these then. No fucking way. Like unless you craft like every single gold gear. Every single gold module. I don't think you'll ever run out of this. There's no fucking way you run out of these then. I think the only thing that's kind of scarce is the augment stones. The enhancement stones basically. These are kind of rare. I don't know where you can get them. Maybe we can get more of them once we get the uh, the shop refresh. The shop reset after next month. Yeah, I'm lucky. But the thing is, when you use this, like the stats go up by like more than 3 sometimes. So like, what, at most you, you use like 5 stones for each piece of gear. That's, that is still more than enough. We only have 5 gold modules right now. So 5 times 5 is 25. So I'm also use 25 of these. And you're done. <laughs> and that's assuming you craft every gold module. Yeah, 
32 firepower. That is really good, actually. I think this actually pushes Laffy up to, like, tier 1. Like, I think she's definitely worth using with this upgrade. Yeah, so it heals her for 10% and also 12% more firepower and torpedo stats after the 8 second period. Yeah, she also gets 12% here and then obviously the 40% there. So I think her damage output is, is gonna be pretty close to a main gun plus 1 destroyer now. Let me run some quick math actually. Hold up. It was 165 times... Guess we can use like another firepower gear. Like this one then. This is another plus 20. So Laffy has like five, like 400 plus firepower with all the buffs. And then time step at 1.65. Oh, that's really good. Her effective firepower is like 670. That is higher than pretty much most of the destroyers in the game, I think. Change her back. Yeah, Buffy actually has higher effective power than Anshan in this case. Still the missiles are way too powerful, but still. That is quite good. Alright, what else do I want to test? Oh, the meta fight, okay. Alright. So this is the last thing I'm gonna test for today, is the meta fight. So we'll do a little bit of Operation Siren farming, and then I'll test out the meta fight. And then, uh, that's gonna be it for today's stream then. I think I'm gonna stream later tonight to uh, to play the reverse 1999 game. Yeah, that one's gonna be hype though. Yeah, honestly, sh should I even make a review for the for the for the modules? They seem really underwhelming, to be honest. They're just stat sticks. Why not assist someone? Oh yeah, that's a good idea actually. I just want to see their I just want to see the attack pattern and stuff. And the stop timing. Well the modules are for the most part very simple to be honest. They're just they, they just get bonus stats. So I mean obviously for torpedo destroyers, you're gonna use the hammer. 
And for main gun destroyers, you use the swords. It's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do a short video? Okay, I'll, I'll do one. Why not? It's fine. <laughs> like, one thing I really want to know is the income for the uh, Augment Stones. That That's like, that's gonna be a pretty big problem, because if we enhance too many of the, the modules, we're gonna run out of stones eventually. It seems like there's not that many ways to get the stones besides the weekly the weekly map. That's kind of a kind of a problem. And the slash like never hits, actually. <laughs> it is so hard to hit the slash. The, the area slash. Am I muted? No. <laughs> yeah, repulse meta is medium armor. At least it should be. My game is out of date. I heard, from what I've heard, the roguelike mode is actually pretty close to finish, so we might see it in like, August. In Azure Lane, I mean. The Azure Lane roguelike mode. Like, I heard it's actually pretty close to being done. You can get enhanced stones from map drop, really? I got some blue enhancement stones from 12-4. Oh, really? You get them from map drop? Wow, that is <laughs> kind of kind of weird. <laughs> All right, let, let's go check out the meta fight. I'm kind of hungry. I want to go eat lunch. So um. Let me go check out the meta fight. Oh, I hope the barrage doesn't just kill the boss. Oh, I should I should run like one ship only actually. All right, it has a lot of shields. Interesting. It's another counter to Drake. Yeah, I don't think Drake is doing any damage with these shields. <laughs> like, I think the purple ones are torpedo shields. Alright, let, let, let's see. Right, I don't think they're torpedo shields. Never mind. Now, the shields like not blocking, or like, is it bugged? Like my shells are my shells are going through. All right, stops at like okay. So uh, I think carriers are better against this boss. I'm pretty sure carriers are better. It seems like the shields are not blocking anything actually. 
Like, am I seeing this correct? I didn't even kill it. <laughs> oh, whatever. Alright, the... Like, am I seeing this correct? I, I, I'm not seeing the shield blocking anything. Like, I'm really not seeing the shield blocking anything. Oh, you can kill these. Oh. Oh, I guess... Alright, hold up. Let's... Ah, uh, okay. Oh, the, the, the gun's gonna kill it. Oh, fuck. I wanna test that. Okay, let, let, let me test that. So you guys see the, the, the fire boss she summons? I, I wonder if that breaks stealth. Hold up, let me uh change to a carrier. Yeah, I think the shields are damage dealing shields. Like the red shields definitely do damage. Oh no, the shield doesn't seem to do anything actually. Okay, there are some misses. Oh, they definitely break stealth. Okay. Interesting. Oh, so that means you cannot run Arc Royal then for Carrier Fleet. I don't think your Vanguard can kill those fireballs reliably since they're from top and bottom. So like, like you, you need like a battleship in the middle to destroy the fireball. Otherwise, your backline gets revealed. That. That is interesting, okay. What do you need to do to get the unique weapon for Belfast? Uh, nothing. You just craft it. I think the shields are bugged, yeah. I, I, I think the shields are bugged. I don't know. Yeah, you just need to craft the, the weapon. Uh, you, you craft it like here. Yeah, you can just craft it. You have like more than enough materials to craft basically anything at this point. Yeah, it costs exactly the same amount to craft blue and purple. And the blue can be upgraded to purple with a cheaper cost. So don't throw away the blue gear, just upgrade them. Right, I'll upgrade like all the uh actually I'll, up I'll upgrade all the pr all the blue gear for now. Seems like we have enough materials to do pretty much everything. And this is what I really like about Azure Lane, honestly. They're very generous with um, these type of stuff. I think in any other game, like they're gonna make you take a full month of grinding to, to craft like one weapon. Like if this is like Guardian Tales, they're gonna ask like half a year of grinding. For one weapon. But Azura Lane just gives you everything you need at right like right at the start. <laughs> right, server dead? What? Uh game? Okay, we're back. Not convert.
Okay, we have every weapon now. New Diablo Immortal? What about it? I heard it I heard it is terrible. <laughs> well anyways, I'm gonna go eat lunch. And I'm I'm probably gonna make a short review on the uh the new modules. I'm mean, there's not really that much to talk about. They're just bonus stats. But yeah, um thanks for watching and uh see you guys hopefully tonight. Gonna be playing a new game tonight. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, goodbye.